South African companies are particularly exposed to water-related risks. Interestingly, all but two of the companies, 93% of the respondents, reported financially material exposure to water-related risks. This is up from 85% in 2011, and substantially more than the global 500 response, uh, um, which is 63%. The second um, high-level finding is that I think we're seeing evidence of greater awareness and an improved governance response uh, amongst the responding companies to water-related risks. So 75% of the respondents have a water policy or strategy in place, up from 69% last year. 71% have board-level oversight of water-related issues. A few companies have, have measurable targets, and there's significant variability in the nature and ambition um, of these targets. So 57% of the respondents have quantitative targets, many of which are intensity-based. Recognizing that water is a shared resource, we believe that there remains significant potential for greater collective action. Globally and locally, we have chosen a very water-intensive growth plan. And in the South African environment, it's still heavily dependent on resources. It's heavily, de heavily dependent on primary industry. And so our water footprint can only get bigger unless we do something drastically. And that leads to the second part of, of this problem, and that is the intensive, the, the resource intensive growth path generally. And this does not only relate to the South African policy and IPAP, it also relates to the South African foreign policy on economic cooperation. Because South Africa's foreign policy on economic cooperation still relies on sending out goods and services from this country that are highly water intensive in South Africa before they go anywhere else. And this is something we have to deal with. South Africa is currently defined by the UNEP, the United Nations Environment Program, as a water stress country. All of the projections are that we are going to be water scarce by 2020 if we continue with the business as usual scenario. And in the water scarce scenario, the amount of water available daily per capita is roughly equivalent to one double Mac, or Big Mac hamburger. This would be your water quota for the day. This is where we're headed to if we don't do something really, really drastic.